After the assassination of Nader Shah Afshar in 1747, the Afsharids' empire collapsed, and Azerbaijan split into independent Khanates. Karabakh Khanate was one of them. The founder of the Khanate, Pana Hali Khan Javanshish, realized that Bayat Castle, built in 1748, and Shah Bulag Fortress, built in 1751, were not secure. And in 1752, he started construction of a new fortress on the inaccessible mountainous plateau, at an altitude of 1300 to 1600 meters above sea level. On completion of all works necessary for the safety of the population, in 1757, Panah Ali Khan moved the capital of Karabakh Khanate from Shah Bulag Fortress to the newly established castle town. Initially, the town was named after its founder, Panahbad, but after his death, it was called Shusha, in accordance with the topography. History of Shusha High cliffs on three sides and strong fortress walls on the fourth side surrounded the town. For a long time, it was well known as an impregnable fortress. The town communicated with the outside world by means of Ganja, Agoglan, and Irivan gates. There were Tabrizli, Chukur, Kurdlar, Jurfalaj, Sedli, Guyularj, Merdinli, Haji Yusufli, Gazanjli, and Cholgala districts in Shusha Fortress. As can be seen, names of all districts of the town belong to its native inhabitants, Azerbaijani Turks. Although in the 18th century, the town came under attack several times, it proved itself as an impregnable fortress. So much so that in 1757, Muhammad Hassan Khan Garjaj, in 1760, Fatali Khan Afshar, and in 1795, Aha Mahama Khan Garjaj, couldn't capture Shusha Fortress. Fortifications made by Azerbaijani craftsmen under the guidance of Panahali Khan and Ibrahim Khalil Khan played significant roles in repelling enemy attacks. Beginning from the end of the 18th century, Shusha became one of the important trade centers in all South Caucasus. Towns of southern Azerbaijan and Persia, as well as the Ottoman Empire, Russia, India, and European countries played an important part in the trade links of Shusha. Merchants from Shusha were constant participants of the famous Leipzig trade fair in Germany and the Nizhny Novgorod fair in Russia. Shusha was famous for its crafts. At the beginning of the 19th century, a great number of craftsmen specialized in more than 50 craft industries in Shusha. They were mainly weavers, hat makers, shoemakers, tailors, carpenters, and carters. Particularly, weaving and carpet making reached a high level of development. Shusha, established by Azerbaijanis and long time inhabited mostly by Azerbaijani Turks, faced serious demographic transition after the Russian occupation at the beginning of the 19th century. Armenians were resettled to Shusha, as well as to other localities of Azerbaijan. Armenians, under the patronage of the Tsar authorities, outnumbered Azerbaijanis, the native inhabitants of the city, and began to oppress them. In 1905 to 1906, bloody terror and genocide were inflicted on Azerbaijanis. Armenians attempted to repeat these acts in 1918 to 1920, but the military forces of the Azerbaijan Democratic Republic beat them back. The catastrophic days of Shusha began with the establishment of the Soviet power. Armenians got the leadership positions in Nagorny Karabakh and carried out repressions of Azerbaijani inhabitants of the city. After the formation of NKAO in 1923, Khankandi became its capital, and Shusha was deprived of the role of administrative center of Karabakh. Thus, the position of Shusha and of the Azerbaijanis living there deteriorated. The result of the unequal treatment of regional leadership of the city rapidly fell into decay. Most of the historical and architectural monuments of the Azerbaijani nation were destroyed. In 50 years, the number of inhabitants decreased more than three times. So, while in 1917, the population of Shusha was 43,869 people, in 1970, it decreased to 13,664. 
The revival of Shushan became possible only after Haydar Aliyev took charge of Azerbaijan SSR in 1969. In 1977, Azerbaijan SSR Council of Ministers accepted a resolution on the declaration of the historical part of Shusha Historical and Architectural Reserve. Important measures were taken to the revival of the social, economic and cultural life of the city. As a result of all these measures, the population of the city increased to 20,579 in 1989. But this revival didn't last long. On May 8, 1992, the Armenian Armed Forces occupied the city. In the process of the occupation and for 28 years, Armenian vandals ruthlessly destroyed the historical and architectural monuments of Shusha. As a result of the 44 Days Patriotic War, which began on September 27, 2020, the heroic army of Azerbaijan liberated Shusha on November 8th with an operation that had no analog in the history of warfare. Today, at the initiative of the President Ilham Aliyev, reconstruction activities are being carried out in Shusha.